Mwahaha, <laughs> quivering fear, Ian the Incredible Idiot. I have shoved you in a room for your dancing crimes, and to escape, you must write someone's name on... on the non-existence sheet. Write a name down on here, and that person will have never existed, leaving you and I as the only two people to remember that. Oh, it's like Death Note. I'm following you. What? No, not like Death Note. You're not putting someone to death with a diary. You are universally erasing them with a non-existent sheet. A sheet? But that doesn't look like you fished it out of the toilet. That's irrelevant. Now, here, take it. Okay, is your plan to just, like, trap me in here forever? Because how am I supposed to write someone's name down here without, like, anything to write on other than, I don't know. Yeah, literally, I don't know. I'm an idiot. That isn't my name. Oh, fine. You know what? Just take, take this pencil. Ah! But, but what were you trying to do there? You, you did... Wait, if you are talking to me right now, facing me, then you threw it to the side, then... How did it go in my direction? Even I, li literally a guy with the idiot in my name, cannot understand the properties of this world. You have spent years of your life mindlessly dancing. How are you to question? Yeah, but, but you know what? Whatever. Just write someone's name down. Wait, what happens if I write my own name? What? No, of course you can't write your own name. I, I specifically put, like, a spell on it or something, or, like, a curse or blessing... I don't know, you, just, you can't write your own name down on there, it's illegal. Oh, so I can't stick it to someone else named Ian the Incredible Idiot? Who else is named that? But still, I no, you can. It's just that the three rules are that you can't, you know, put yourself in non-existence. You can't put your relatives in non-existence because that'll probably create a paradox or something. And you also can't put me in non-existence. Wait a minute. Why can't I write your name down? You are holding me hostage in a scientifically impossible room. That's pretty good cause for me to put you in non-existence, bucko. What? No, of course you can. If I get put in non-existence, then I never put you in this room to put me in non-existence with the death note. I mean, non-existent cheat. Damn it. But anyways, if you write down my name, then I never put you in here to write down my name. It's a complete paradox akin to the grandfather paradox that even you should know about you absolute moron oh yeah right that makes perfect sense too bad i already prematurely wrote down your name guess we're screwed